If you want to start BiPAP um, on a patient, then on your left, your options NAV hyphen ST, that is your BiPAP. And you can notice here that your default settings are five as PEEP, and it says 10 Delta P inspiratory. This is not what you might have been used to. This is not your IPAP. Your IPAP is actually the sum up of these two numbers. So actually here you have an IPAP of 10 plus 5, 15, and you have an EPAP of five. So if you start the patient with the default settings, you're starting them on 15 over five. Now, if you want to change your um, inspiratory pressure, um, you will most likely change this number if you don't want to change the expiratory pressure. So say that uh, this patient's tolerating the BiPAP well and you want to take it over, I don't know, 20 over five. What you want to do is five is your expiratory pressure. So you leave that as it is and you want to take this up to 15 because this is 15, 15 plus five, 20 over five and then you press start ventilation. Now looking at the screen, you can sense everything, oxygen, inspiratory and expiratory as it's uh, working. Here you're gonna see your tidal volume. If you click on the monitoring, um, you will have all of your settings here. Uh, what is quite uh, helpful for you is to go to tab two and look at the patient leak. This is the percentage of leak. Anything less than 20% on an actual patient, we are happy with. Um, because this might actually affect the ventilation and the tidal volumes you are achieving. Um, the other thing worth mentioning in this kind of machine is the alarms. So if you go to alarms, for some reason, if you notice here breaths per minute, the minimum uh, al breaths per minute that this machine is going to alarm on is zero. Uh, so basically it's going to alarm when the patient stops breathing for the cells, which is a bit late. So whenever you set up this machine on a patient, I need you to come to alarms to come to the minimum breaths per minute and take it up to at least 12, I would say. If you turn the machine off, then it's gonna go back to the default uh, minimum of zero. So every time you turn it on, you need to check manually the alarms and make sure that this um, has been adjusted accordingly. Um, a couple of the buttons here, if you press this button that says O2, this gives 100% oxygen for two minutes where it will go back to what you had before. Or if you press it again, it's going to go back to what you had before. Um, this is the inspiration hold, uh, if you hold it. And this is to lock the screen um, and basically it doesn't do anything if you uh, tap on it. So the take home message here. Inspiratory IPAP is the sum up of these two numbers and EPAP is the P. If you forget what the actual uh, analogy is, you can have a look at the instructions here. How to set up the machine is here and how to actually calculate the IPAP and BiPAP is here. Thank you.